So just about to apply my daily makeup, um, thought I'd show you while I was doing it. I just started using these Bobbi Brown uh, Long Wear Cream Color Sticks. Um, I tried them yesterday and I really like them, so let me show you how I'm using them. I've been using this lighter color, which is taupe, this lighter color, which is taupe, I've been using in the crease of my eye. So I've just been putting it in here. And then it's nice and soft and you're able to smudge it and blend it in. So I just put a brush over it. Same thing on the other eye. Then a darker one. Uh, what color is this one? This one is bark. So I've been using the bark on my eyelids. And boy, is this easy. Such an easy application. I don't even have to pull my eye out to get it even. Can you see that? Now I'm gonna blend it in a little bit with my brush. This looks so much more natural than a liquid eyeliner. Really like this. Now some mascara. I use Chanel Inhibital, Inhibitable, um, Inhibitable Intense. It took me the longest time to learn to say that name. I'd go into the store to the Chanel counter and go, I want the, and I could never say it, but finally, practice makes perfect. I can now say the name of my mascara. So I usually put about five coats on and People have even asked me if I wear false eyelashes, which I don't. Um, I did once, or you know, when I was young, I wore them occasionally. They were very, what goes around comes around. They were very, very popular. Ooh, it must've been back in the late 60s, early 70s. And I did try them, but they were a lot of extra work. And I'm all for the easy application. <laughs> It comes in a dark brown also, but I use the Noir, which is more of a black. The other thing I really love about this Chanel mascara, not just the fact that it goes on so well and it makes my lashes so long and thick, um, I also love that it has such a thick, fluffy wand and it's just the perfect length. Okay, so there's the mascara. Later, I'll put it on the bottom lashes. I don't quite do it quite yet. Oops. Um, now I'm gonna show you my other favorite, which is this Wander Beauty duo. Um, one end is a concealer stick and the other end is a brush. I just take the tiniest amount, I mean just the tiniest amount, and just pat it. You don't want to put it all over under your eye because that'll just make you look like you've got a big white puff ball under your eye. I don't really use any uh, under eye concealer. Uh, this is like an illuminator. Uh, it's a concealer and illuminator, but I just barely touch it and couple of little spots. Now the foundation that I use is the Ultra La Tint Velvet. I go back and forth between this one and the, um, oh, I won't get the name of it right, but let me show it to you. It's a color wash. It's a complexion color wash. This has little granules in it, and when you put it on your palm and you rub it, everything blends in, and then you put it on your face. Um, it's got a little bit less coverage, I think, than this. They're both fairly light coverage. I don't like any of this heavy coverage. Uh, but you do have to shake this. And then I use about that much. And I put it on with my fingers first. And then I blend it. And you can, it's buildable. You can put more on if you want. I like light coverage because I really don't like to see a woman that looks like she has a mask on her face. It does have a little bit of SPF in it. It has 15. And that's really not enough to completely protect you. But if you forget to put on your other uh, sunscreen under your makeup, then at least you got a little bit of protection. Since I started working with Laura Geller, I have found some of her products that I have ended up using every single day. Um, this is the Baked Full Face Basics. And this seems to be just perfect for me because this is like a light bronzer that I'm gonna put now over my whole face. This is a blush. This is a highlighter. This one I haven't used too much, but this color here is what I put over here in the corner of my eye. So I'll just rub it lightly in there.
and it just gives a little bit of a look of a tan. Um, it doesn't sparkle or anything. That's what I like about it. Then with a nice fluffy brush, I don't really rub it in it. I just kind of dab it. I want it to be too heavy. I love that her blushes are very pigmented. Um, so you do have to be careful not to get too much. But on the other hand, you're not constantly having to reapply or build it up or anything because it's got a really nice, good pigmentation to it. Okay. And then I have been using just lightly across the top of my cheekbones, I have been using her highlighter here, which is this one right here. And very lightly, just one sweep. Sometimes I will take this one that I was showing you before, just put my little finger in it, and just very carefully darken that corner of my eye. And then just to brighten up the eye area even more, I take a small brush and put it in the same highlighter that I used on my cheekbones and just do it on the inner corner of the eye. Just a couple of light dabs. Then for lips, I use a lip color. First I apply some foundation to my lips. It doesn't take much. And then I use the Chanel lip pencil. Right now I am using um, Brune Nude, which you're all been asking me about. And sometimes I use natural rose. Today I'm gonna to use the Brune Nude. It looks like this. It has the pencil at one end and a lipstick brush at the other. So it's a little bit of a brown rose color. Um, and I like it alone. So a lot of you are asking me all the time, what lipstick do you use? Well, basically I don't use lipstick. Basically I most of the time just use this lip pencil. But when I do use lipstick lately, I have fallen in love with Laura Geller's baked lipsticks. Look at this marbling effect that it has. I just love it. And I like it a lot over the top of this particular lip pencil. So that's basically it as far as my daily makeup application. But the last thing that I do is under the eye. I like to wait until everything else is done so I can clean up anything that may have fallen from the other eye makeup uh, down to the top of my cheek. So the under eye area, I use this Chanel, it's called Brune Teak is the color I'm using now. It has a little sponge applicator at one end and the pencil at the other. So I just go under the eye here and I really only do the outer third I don't come in very far. So just that little bit, I don't like the fully lined eye. I just think that brings too much attention to the circle of the eye. And then I put on the mascara on the lower lashes. And that's it. That's what I do on my daily makeup routine. Now I gotta do something with this hair. And you've all been asking me for a new hair tutorial. So I'm gonna just keep going here. I'm gonna make a second video and I'm gonna show you how I style my hair on a daily basis. Thanks for watching.